Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. Um, today I'm going to try to get a few videos done. I'm going to be doing an all my, like, all my blank series where I'm going to have all my amphibians, reptiles, birds, um, all that kind of stuff, fluffy animals, all that kind of stuff. So today, I'm sorry, you might be able to see my reflection in the glass of some of the tanks, but um, the first video that I'm going to film is meet all my amphibians. And I think right off the top of my head that I have six amphibians. That should be correct. But we'll see as we go along. So I'm going to be moving the tripod a lot because it's just the most efficient way for me to film. But first thing we have right here, I hear the legs of the tripod close a lot, is my paludarium. You just got a five gallon filter set up like this and the base of like the land area is actually a large reptile rock and then there's some pothos and um, I think that's called a diffenbachia. Um, in here we have a total of four animals. One is a bonus. Um, I'll just show even though it's not an amphibian. We have three white tree frogs. This one in particular is freckles. And then in the back there we have blue, and somewhere in there is beans, who was my first. And then the one that's not an amphibian, but I'll include it, is this mountain horn dragon species, Acanthosaurus lepidogaster, which is the brown prickle nape agama, specifically. So I'll go ahead and put him back. No. He's a very jumpy one. There we go. I've just got two guppies in the water section and a heat lamp. No UVB because they get out of plenty of out of cage time outside, which I know is weird, but they do. I give them out of cage time. And this is a zoom in 18 by 18 by 24 with a Exoterra Solo Monsoon hooked up to it. And they just got their um I believe that's a 75 watt heat bulb on their basking spot. And they can all get access to it. They just climb up the plants and stuff. And I would have to say it's maybe two, three inches of water in the bottom. I'm going to be getting a fire belly newt for that at some point. But um, I've been sick these last few days. So I haven't been able to make it to the pet store. Um, so I'll just maybe do a quick post on my pet account, Instagram, whenever I get him. So now we'll move on to the next amphibian. This next one here is something that I actually rescued, and I'll be keeping him until he's an adult. And I have to set the tripod up and just lift his critter keeper up. This is his setup. He's a little have a hut with some moss, no water dish, because I'm terrified that he's going to drown. Um, I don't know if you can see him right there. It is a red eft, and he's just in this kind of of dragons going crazy he thinks this is food. he's just in this critter keeper sprayed down um i'm going to be ordering him some spring tails to feed on because pinheads were doing him fine until the store ran out of pinhead so that i get him from and see there's just napkin on the bottom to keep it nice and damp in there so that is the red f now we'll move on to the next amphibian this next one i'm just going to show you guys from this angle because you're not going to be able to see her anyways this is my axolotl. She's in a, um, I believe it's a two foot by one and a half foot or something like that, um, concrete mixing tub with some, it's like an aerator in a clay pot with some medium. And there's a small filter on an um, old Exoterra waterfall top in the back with some hides and such. But she's a black form axolotl, so you won't be able to see her anyways. But, um, yeah, I don't have like a real filter on there just because, um, you know, I do water changes like every three or four days on her complete 100% and it's worked out fine. Um, her water stays cool. It's a little bit cooler in this room even though we've got lots of heat lamps. But this side of the room is cooler and when it does get too hot, she has an aquarium fan and I put ice in there. And no, she's never tried to jump out. I, I found that they really don't try to do that. So, yeah, that was actually five amphibians, not six. <laughs> Thought I had six. I don't know why. Um, so, yeah, that's all my amphibians. Um, yeah, I guess that's part one. I'll probably put this 
in a playlist full of like you know all these meet my animal videos so yeah thank you for watching and stay tuned for the next meet my series